Hello everyone, Deadbeat Dad Diddler here. So we are on to the most annoying part of the game. It would have to be these dungeons with the floor traps and the spikes and the bloody jump puzzles. They're all kind of a pain, but I can show you some tips and tricks to get through it. First tip, don't get hit by these big ram guys. They do a lot of damage, but they're easy enough to kite. Oh, there's two of them. All right, I'm gonna hide behind this door and not instantly die. So we're going to bait them into the door, they're going to knock themselves out, and we're going to kill them. Fairly easy. I'm going to get hit through the door and die. So doors are just a suggestion, and uh, I'll be back when I re-clear all these levels. Like I was saying, with these ram dudes, let their ignorance be their downfall. They'll run. I almost died. Look past that. They will ram. You can go up and whack them. If you have lifesteal on your weapons... Oh, oh, don't get hit. Alright. If you have lifesteal on your weapons, they're easy treats. Or had them run into a wall and die. Like the common house cat, their ignorance will be their downfall and you will be rewarded. All right, now I want to show off some of the puzzle rooms in this type of dungeon. Screaming Skull, easy to kill. If you see them floating about, you kind of just poke your head out the door. You'll see them charge up, you know, go all yellow around them and uh, scream at you. Solid, easy to kill. You just step back a little bit and they come in right for the easy spikes. See this mage in here buffing whatever he's buffing, probably his own rod, but uh, He's coming now, just like a normal green goblin with a sword. He's easy to kill. You know, you just block and repair and post and attack back. Nothing hard at all, unless you block and then get killed anyways. I will we'll be back. Mini setbacks in this episode, we're back. Another puzzle room. We have these spinning Sauron eye dildo towers shooting black orbs. These skeletons shooting black orbs. These skeletons won't charge. So what we need to do is time out these uh, spinning tower traps, find their little switch on the wall back there, run to it. There's usually going to be two switches for these. Bam. They're not turned off, so there's a second switch. And these guys won't charge us. We need to find their power crystal. They're purple, so there'll be a purple power crystal. Run up to it. First we slack these vases, see if there's any health potions, because we're low. But purple crystals, we're going to pop it. Pop the crystal, causing the skeleton, the skulls, to lose power. And then it'll come back to where the crystal was to regain power, and you can kill them. Easy peasy. Now, I couldn't find the other lever when I was playing this. But looking back at the footage, there is a lever to the left embedded in this torch. It's hard to see. You'll see it pop up briefly. But uh, give it a good look around the room before you just give up. Okay, I might have died. Alright, we moved past it. The spider dropped me some nice loot. He gave me this little helmet that makes me look like a penis. And this really strong mace. This really strong mace has some nice abilities on it, so I'm gonna use this time to touch on abilities in this game. I'm gonna point out some OP ones that you should look out for. One of the OP ones being Golden Tongue. Golden Tongue allows you to buy one item from the shop for free. So I guess not really buying, but you get one item from each shop for free. You always permanently learn this one. An Artisan. This one allows you to make more mod slots on the weapons that you craft in the forge. I'd recommend also permanently learning this one. And exterminate. Exterminate is a skill that you cannot learn permanently from your weapon. So if you have a weapon with it equipped, I would keep it around until you outgrow it because it's a really strong ability. Alrighty, the most annoying part of the dungeon, the wall jumps, the parkouring, the little punji sticks shooting you in the feet. Now, some of them have like rotational patterns, easy enough to count out. Then you run over to the little wall slabs and jump onto them. Easy peasy. Now you get these long ones right. You're going to want to hold shift, then run and jump. I like to back up all the edge. Holding shift is going to come out. And run jump. Make sure you're holding shift so you get the sprint and then you get it over there easy. Now there's one that doesn't have spikes running around that you can easily jump onto. But this one is... You know, one of the spike ones. So if you want to practice on a non-spiky one, I advise that. Here's another tip. You see this little golden railing going around? You can actually land on it. You can stand on it and walk around. So if you're like, if you miss your thing, try to jump onto that and you can uh, save yourself from the spikes. Like a cat on a counter trying not to knock down the glasses. Well, I was clearing this room and I found this weird handprint. Oh, all right. I interacted with it. It took my health, but gave me the lightning weapon ability that was cool so if you find one of these uh hit e on it it might kill you if you're low health but i got a free lightning strike ability type thing blood altar blood for the blood god Alrighty, i died again but it gives me a chance to teach you about these skulls that drop acid 
And just like college kids that drop acid, they're easily manipulated. So you see, they're gonna come back to this crystal to get power, like college kids coming to a free pizza party. They come, you attack, or you can break the crystal, they'll run out of power and come back. And bam, you capture them, press your uh, Scientology pamphlets on them. Easy peasy. Now I know this has been a lot of just tips and tricks for the jump levels, but that's what I get a lot of requests for is doing the jump parts easy. So here's one tip. If you get to the top of these, there is a, often a secret room over there, like a secret little jump area to get to. That's one of the tips. And the next tip, just for making it this far in the video, I will show you my most hidden gem of jump secrets. The creme de la creme of jump secrets. So now we're here in one of these types of jump puzzles, right? One's in the middle of the room, spikes everywhere, and there's a chest. Now you don't want to do this jump puzzle. It's a pain. Well, you just see what I just did? There you go. And now you can get to the chest easy peasy. You can, even, you can open it and you can acquire the loot from the chest with this little secret. Let's see that again, but uh, a little bit slower maybe. I'll point it out. Show you the secrets to it. Just so when we get back on the pedestal, we get it all the way back. Then we're gonna shift, jump, and we're gonna land right in here. I don't, why does it work? I have no idea. I'm guessing you're wedging yourself in between the two stone slabs. But if you need to light something up there or if you need to get the chest, easy peasy way of doing it. So thank you for getting this far in the video. If you did and you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, all the other stuff that makes my channel grow and makes YouTube happy. You don't got to if you don't want to, but it'd be appreciated. Now, this is more of a tips and tricks video than a playthrough. Even though I played through levels five, six, and seven, I died a whole bunch, a whole bunch. So that's why if you see it on screen, see that I have a ton of potions and some crazy gear. It's because I grinded levels one, two, and three over and over again. So I don't have potions to make it through these jump puzzles. So I hope it helps. Also, you guys left some pretty nice comments. Thank you very much. I'm going to go through them just because it makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Got one from Plenty Moon. Okay, now to do a playthrough. Don't be a loser. Thanks, bro. Doing it. Next one coming in from CDK. Best one so far. Thanks, bro. Next one coming in from Hell on Earth. The guy that actually asked me for the jump help, so I hope this helps. And the next one is JJB underrated AF. Thanks, man. I don't think so, but I hope you. I'm glad you do. Next one from painfully aware. How did I miss the monkey man option? If it's not that locked, it might be my next character. Great video. Monkey man option, top tier. Uh, he pants with a <laughs> pretty great. But uh, I believe you have to beat the game to unlock different races. I've had uh, somebody else beat the game and they unlocked the zombie while I unlocked monkey man. I don't know how that actually works out. I'll figure it out for you. Next one coming in from Roman. He's asking about the purple slime or the gold slime vials, the bottles of slime. I have no idea about it, but he, farther down in the thread, he asked me if, uh, if I've ever sacrificed one to an altar, which I haven't. But I might try because that sounds interesting. If I do, I'll record it and let you guys know how it works out. Other than that, thanks y'all for watching and this has been Glide, out.